All right, welcome. Good afternoon, Bianca. Hello. Hi, Bianca. Hello. All right. So this afternoon, finally, we we will be learning how to make sardo sardo bread, bread from Bianca and of um, other breads of other breads. All right, thank you, thank you. Uh, those who are tuning in the live stream or watching this in the replay. So we're learning how to make a sardo bread from otter bread. And uh, Bianca will explain uh, in a while. But uh, this is the first time we're doing it. Uh, we always just like to eat sardo bread. Uh, and we've tried their bread, so you want to recreate it at home. Maybe, Bianca, can you share with us your story? Okay, well, it actually really started during the ECQ. So everybody was stuck at home, right? And you couldn't really get any good bread anywhere. So that's when we thought like, mm, maybe I should make my own sourdough starter. So from YouTube tutorials and of course, talking to some friends, we were able to come up with a starter. And from there, so just to explain a bit, starter is basically flour and water combined. That's been fermented so there's wild yeast inside so from that point on we started to practice making bread until eventually some of our friends and family noticed then we eventually turned it into a home business where now we're selling um artisanal sardo bread different flavors and um, other dips and spreads that go with it so it's just from that small practice <laughs> uh, making bread into this home business that actually a lot of people um, try and enjoy. Oh, sorry, Anton, I can't hear you. All right, sorry. So you, you created this Sardo kit. Maybe you can yes. walk through us the, uh, in the Sardo kit. And maybe what happened with the Sardo kit? Uh, why did you decide to create that? Well, so first thing is, a lot of people is actually interested in sourdough. I was surprised that there was actually a lot of interest in my area. Because, I mean, people typically just buy from French Baker or L'Artisan. But then, since it wasn't available, a lot of people started getting into it. And some people always have trouble with the starter and not knowing what equipment they really need to use. So in our kit, what I've included is number one, bread flour. So bread flour is um, higher in protein than normal all-purpose flour that we normally buy for the house. So what um, other means, is this one? Basic, yes, that's bread flour. So basically that means that it absorbs water more compared to all-purpose flour, where the protein is only around um, 10 to 12%. For bread flour, it's around 13 to 15%. So more mm -hmm. water absorption, so it becomes more elastic in your dough. You'll notice it when you, if you do a loaf with all-purpose and bread flour. But actually, you can still use all-purpose, huh? It's not like you can't use it at all. Pwede naman. And then so uh, we, we also include sea salt because, syempre, actually, sourdough is one of the oldest kinds of bread. Imagine the Egyptians made it. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna na siya katagal, ganyan yung history niya. And they just figured it out. Oh, I mix flour and water, it, it makes the bread rice. So the history is really very long. And actually, if you isipin mo, there's even um, a TED talk I saw that imagine Jesus, diba? there's a, that parable about him that he made loaves na yung parang seven naging hanggang 40 people na. It's mm -hmm. basically a sourdough starter. Kasi like ako, you guys have one of my starters and you can just give it away to people. And dumadami lang siya na dumadami, feeding more people. Eh, di biglang marami na siya, di ba? So, ano tong so sardo starter. starter? What is it exactly? It's just actually water and flour together. But then you ferment it for a number of days. So, five to seven days. May I open it? it? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Ka so, para siyang paste. <laughs> Pag nakikita mo siya. Ano ba to? Room temp lang yung starter? Um, if you're going to use it, then yeah, you should leave it in room temp. But if you're going to not use it for a while, you can keep it in the rack. Anong amoy? Amoy? 
sour. It's supposed to be like a little bit fruity na merong hint of sourness. Ibig sabihin, pag parang sobrang maasim yung amoy niya, gutom siya. Mm. So, yun yun. So, yeah, buhay so siya. Na. Buhay siya. It's alive. It's a pet. So, literal, kaya nga I said, like, it's like a pet that you have to feed every day or you, name, if you're not gonna use. Ha, huh, sorry? May name siya. Yeah, so you can give it your own name. Since ina-adopt niyo na siya ngayon, you give your starter name para medyo mas attached kayo na parang, ay, I have to feed this person again. <laughs> huh? Ikaw, anong pangalan nung ano, mother, the mother? So mine is actually Dolores. That's my starter, si Dolores. Dolores. So if you watch Westworld, kasi di ba Dolores is everywhere. Yes, of course. Kaya lahat ng, lahat ng bread ko mayroong konting Dolores. Hence, <laughs> Dolores yung name niya. So siya si mother. The mother bread. Yes, yes. So okay. yung pinaka-mother. So okay. what you're going to do later nga is to mix it. Yan. Magiging Levain na siya. Kasi people confuse it sometimes eh. Starter and Levain. Levain, okay. yun yung lalagay nyo sa bread mo. Starter mo is the mother, which is whatever you're gonna name her. So what else do you have in the kit? Okay, so you also have rice flour. So basically the rice flour, you don't put that in your bread, okay? You just mm. put it in the basket later on pag ipo-proof mo na siya para hindi didikit. Mm. So Basically, ba, yun lang ba, siya. Binigyan yes. mo kasama sa kit. Why? Yes. We included work? that in the kit. Because some people, ano eh, they, parang, it's nicer if you have a basket. It shapes your bread when you put it there. It's not gonna be that hard to design anymore. Mm. So we wanted people to be like, ay, okay, ito na kompleto na siya. And it's also kind of hard to find. It's not something that you can buy in the mall. It's, it's, it's ano pa, you have to order it pa talaga. So it's okay. a it's we want it to be a solution the kit to people who want to get into it but don't really have the things that they need at home. So it's more <laughs> of that. Yeah. Okay, wait. Um ani natin may mga nagehello. So oh, sure. si Archie. Oh, hey Archie. Is <laughs> Do Dong and Do oh. Do. <laughs> Dona. <laughs> yeah. Archie and then hello uh, we have people watching in Albay. And Hello. Hello. And Jean. Hi. Hello. Hello. All right. All right. So that's it. Um, if you are watching the live stream, maybe um, you have some comments or if you want to do Sardo also. Uh, this is the first time we're doing it. So this will be a two-part live stream. This is the first part where... Uh, Bianca will explain to us uh, the first part and what happens in between uh, the baking process uh, before we bake the bread tomorrow. So we'll also live stream once we have the bread. All right. Game? Okay. All right. Sige, Bianca. So anong gagawin natin? So okay. So the first thing is you have your digital scale there, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I have to emphasize, it's really so much better if you use a digital scale as compared to measuring cups because it's not exact. In sourdough, it's a fickle. Siya. So it's, it's a note. Like even me, when I started, I was only using measuring cups. But when I shifted to digital scale, it's talaga. It's really noticeable how consistent it can be when you have the scale. So, okay, so you have the scale. Um, do you have your bowl or let the Tupperware? Ayan, use one. Okay. Ah, uh, there, yeah, you can use that. Okay, so you can use that one, the that jar thing. Yeah, you can use that. Okay. Okay, so put it on top of your digital scale. Okay, so put um fifty grams of starter inside. Nahalimutan ko spoon ko sandali. Go ahead. <laughs> so, how much is the starter kit? Pala. Okay, so uh, in our website, we're selling it for one two nine nine. So it's gonna be released later this week. The website where we're gonna blast it off. In Cloak, it's gonna be available for nine nine nine. So I'm we're still difference. waiting for that. To What's launch. the difference? Wala pa. Oh well, because Cloak has a special price, talaga. Okay. So that's for you. why, and it's also for ano parang meron siyang bulk buy if you buy four, it's cheaper. May ganon dun sa Cloak. Plastic or steel? Any, it doesn't matter. So yeah, add ka ng starter. Um, okay. So 50 grams. 50 grams. Yan. 
Can we have a photo? Smile muna. We'll have a photo. Maganda yung shot na to eh. Look at, hindi, look at the lens. Okay. Look at the lens. Ha. One, two. Okay. Go. Next. Okay. So, 50 grams of that. 50 grams ata to lahat. Ah, lahat yan. I put a little more than that. Pero kung 50 grams, it's okay if may matera dyan. So question, Bianca. So pwede mm. na naming buhayin to or dire-direct? Yes, na kailangan nyo na siya buhay. <laughs> so may pet na kayo. Sorry, meron na kayong bago Dapat ka alaga. Ba? <laughs> so babawasan ko. Na-excite ako. How many is it now? 52. 52. Okay lang yan. Okay. If it's if, if it's just sobra na konti. Kasi yung ratio naman, that when you're making the starter, it's just one is to one is to one. One so part when, starter, one part flour, one part water. So pwede naman 52, 52, 52. So wait, anong pangalan ng starter natin? Oo nga. Angela. <laughs> Angela. O oh, Angela. Hamilton. <laughs> Angela. Oh, oh. Okay, si Angela. Okay. So now you add water. 50 grams also. So ngayon na, kailangan like if you're not going to use her, kasi like today you're gonna cook, hindi naman everyday magluluto ng sourdough, di ba? Uh -uh. So if you're gonna store it lang, you can keep it sa ref, and then you have to feed once a week. So ganun yung pang-store sa kanya. So how do you feed it? So feeding is what you're doing right now. So adding equals parts of water and flour. Kasi yun yung pagkain niya. So basically yung flour, parang sinaferment niya. So tinaturn niya yung mga sugars into... It's sort of like yakult, lactobacilli. So mm -hmm. yung wild na, ano. Kaya it's very good for your gut. Kasi naturally fermented yeast siya. And then we use pa unbleached flour. So talagang tinatanggal natin yung pagka-preservatives of it all. Okay. Talagang pinaka-raw form of bread. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. Now you add flour. Normal flour. Wait ah. Biglang nag-99 eh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Do you need to be precise? Yeah. yeah, well, if you're gonna put nga kumari 52, eh, di ba sa 52, 52, 52, basta yung ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1. So, pag ganun, mm -hmm. it means that you have a 100% hydration dough, uh, starter, sorry. Ito, gano'ng karami lalagay mo? 50 grams rin. 50 grams. Pero ilan ba nilagay mo kanina? 52? 50, 50, 50. 50. Binawasan ko eh. Okay. Oh, so basta pag-feeding, ganun lang eh. 50, 50, 50. Okay. It depends of course kung gano'ng kadami. Of course, if you wanna make more loaves, then you can add more flour and um, water even if you just have the 50 gram starter. Mas matagal lang siya kakain. Mas matagal mag-rise. So meron bang ano, branding or may the quality of the flour is important or? Well, yeah, it's also important because if you have, if you use unbleached flour or bleached flour, there are different kinds of flour actually. Because what I'm teaching is, ano, well, I guess it's a starter talaga for beginners na ano, na sourdough bread. Because if other people, they can add whole wheat, they can mix a bit of your normal flour with whole wheat or rye or no. spelt. So and, and there's so many different flours, eh. But here in the Philippines, usually you know, kita mo lang alternatives will be whole wheat and rye. Or, of course, our normal bread flour. Maski okay. unbleached, you won't even find that in the supermarket. So, iba rin yung sourcing ng flour na yan. But, honestly, uh, the community for sourdough bread is very active here now. Ayan. Okay. So when that's done, you just have to mix it. With a spatula. Yeah, yeah. Tapos parang glue siya. Parang gaw-gaw yung look niya after.
So how long? Okay, so it's right. It's almost 5 p.m. I'm guessing that will be okay at around 8 or 9. Well, what so do you mean okay? What do you mean okay? Okay, so like right now, after you mix, lalagay nyo siya ng tape. You can put a tape or like a hairband or something just to mark where it is. So for example, um, where is that? Here. This is my here, if you can see it there. Okay. So I put a hairband, like just to mark where it is. Kasi tumataas siya. It doubles in size. Mm. So dun malalaman when it's ready. So like this is the first yung kakapakain ko lang nito. And then I have another one. This is three hours after. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. A mark tape. Yeah, right? so telling tape. Pwedeng tape, pentel pen, whatever you can use to mark it. So because it it grows, so like ito, it almost tripled, di ba? Yeah. So ganun, yun yung iintayin mo. So once you reach that point na medyo parang nag two times, two times, three na siya, that's when you have their float test. So doon mo malalaman if it's ready to use for baking. Kasi the starter has to be at its most active. So ganun siya. And, so kaya talagang uh, shortcut yung statistic. Eh. <laughs> So, bakit nga author brand? Okay, so like the flow test, like I just mentioned earlier. So, so flow test, you basically get a glass of water or a bowl of water, and you put a teaspoon of the sourdough starter there, and then it floats. So, then ka na kuha yung idea na, ah, author breads na lang. Kasi you always have to do the flow test every, every time you make bread, laging may flow test. So, kaya naging authors, kasi di ba authors float? <laughs> uh oh. So ito, ito lang yung gagawin natin ngayon and uh, we'll do the other test later, no? So what you, oh yeah, so later on you have to do the float test. So like I said, maybe you check around, um, you can cover that with a cling wrap or maski yung takip nung mason jar para lang hindi siya exposed. Kasi oh, another thing is you wanna protect it from bacteria. Ayo naman na, ano, super walang air but hindi din siya pwedeng walang takip. So you just leave that in a corner for three hours, three to four hours. And pag nag double na in size, that's when you do the float test. So kuha ka lang ng water in a bowl, and then you put a teaspoon of the starter there. Pag lumulutang na, pwede mo nagamitin to make bread. So ganun lang siya. Yeah. Tapos, kailan tayo mag-make ng bread tomorrow? So you can make, actually, you're gonna make the dough tonight already. Ah, tonight so, na? So let me walk you through. Ah. So let's say, you pass na the float test. Lumutang na yung starter. So the next thing you're going to do is create the dough. So for the dough, um, the PDF I sent you, nandun naman yung recipe. So basically, what you're just gonna do is mix, the first thing you're gonna do is mix water with the starter. Mix mo lang until medyo mag, mag ano na siya, maging water, yung water at yung starter, halong halo na. And then you add flour, and then you add salt. And then incorporate well together. Pag ano na, ililive mo lang rin another 30 minutes. After okay. 30 minutes, check mo na siya. So, kasi yung, when you, when it leaves to rest, when the starter rests and the flour rests, um, the gluten structure of the dough strengthens. So, mas nagiging elastic siya. So, mafe-feel mo yun, makikita mo yung difference talaga. Just making it rest 30 minutes, ano yung itsura ngayon and ano yung itsura later. So, pag okay ni 30 minutes, you have to do um, two sets of stretch and folds. So, the first thing I would ask you to watch out for is it has to be smooth. So, after 30 minutes, it's smooth mo. Make it into a ball. Just pull it and push it on the bowl. Hindi hindi man kailangan as all out need. In the in the video I sent, meron din ano dun. Makikita mo naman dun how you're supposed to do it. And then after that, you're gonna do two stretch and folds. And then, pwede mo na siya iwan the night for fermentation. Maybe you should also look for one is temperature. Kasi pag masyado mainit, mabilis masyado yung growth ng starter. Yun yung problem with all of the resources online. Eh. You don't really see how to make bread in tropical countries. Kasi lahat sila parang, leave your dough to rest 12 hours, 15 hours. 
hindi pwede sa Philippines kasi masyadong mainit. So by the time yung pag nag-15 hours ka, wala na. Sobrang asim na talaga ng bread mo. So the amount of starter you put dictates on how sour your dough is and how long it will take to rise. So more starter, faster rise. Pero more sour dough. So meron siyang ano eh, you can actually control that in a more advanced lesson. You can control how crunchy it is, how hydrated it is, and how sour it is. So iba-iba siya. Okay. Well, um, Bianca, may mga questions lang. Um, mm-hmm. I know na sagot na siguro to, pero let's le- review lang. So okay. one is to one is to one ratio, correct? Yes, that's right. So that means one part flour, one part water, one part starter. So okay. feeding. And the water, filang ba distilled? Yes, ideally. Because if we put naman tap water, baka may mga minerals that will kill or change the ano of the starter. Because pure nga yung ginagamit natin ingredients, de ba? Kaya even the sea salt, what we're using uh, is Himalayan pink sea salt. Because we want it to be healthy talaga. E kung haluan natin, paano kung yung hindi pala ganun kalinis yung water sa faucet, baka may mahalong iba, de ba? Ayaw naman natin may magkasakit na tao. Okay, na next question. By way train yung water, correct? It's yes, by... that's right. Because um, if you measure one fourth cup of water and one fourth cup of flour, it's not equal weight. So uh, if pag ganon, pag yeah, kasi pag measuring cup talaga yun yung naging struggle ko rin before. Mas maganda talaga digital scale. Because if not, okay. it's I think the ratio would be one half and then one half cup. Parang ganon pag flour to water. So it's not exactly the same talaga. So better tina- to measure by weight. Kasi, di ba, pag measuring cup, may iba tinatak pa para bumaba oh, yung yeah. mm-hmm. So, pero usually, pag equal. baking, hindi mo tinataktak eh. Kasi maarte ang baking, di ba? Precise ang baking. Yes. Hindi yes, tatak. Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next question. So, sardo is one word. Yeah, yeah, it's one word. Not uh, separate. Okay. May question pa. Archie, is Bianca from... <laughs> yes! Hi, Archie! <laughs> Ah, okay. So, what do you mean? Can you explain? <laughs> ah, so I'm also part of Fat Girls Day Out. So, we have a website. So, it's a food travel website where we also um, write about fat men, about restaurants and travel. And actually, mm-hmm. we also offer, like, tours now on Klook. And we also uh, have, like, well, we used to have a chocolate crawl with Oro before uh, the whole lockdown thing. <laughs> pero uh, this one is ikaw lang or it's part of the... Um, it's a separate thing from Fat Girls Day Out. I mean, I, of course, it also helps because we also promote it there in a, in a way. But it's a different, different entity altogether. Okay. Um, and then Daniel said he named his Bruce Starter. <laughs> um, and then, okay, next question. Iodized salt. Okay. Better to use sea salt because it will make it saltier. But if I tried before doing two breads with iodized and then with sea salt, but the one with iodized is saltier and because it's more processed. And when you rock think salt. of sourdough, which one? Sorry, rock, rock salt. salt. I haven't used rock salt. Eh. It's really the fine one because I'm not sure if it will be the same way. Maybe it will be more difficult. Okay. Yeah, right. but fine, fine sea salt is ano, the best to go. Okay. So, anong gagawin ulit natin? Let's recap. After this... So, after natin, this... Eh. Oo. Oh, Intay nyo dumoble or tumag After three hours. Oil. Yeah, check after three hours. I, I check at around eight. Question. Pag after three hours, hindi pa? Wait, Ibig every, sabihin, wait one more hour. Yeah. yeah. Uh, every hour. Yes, just check every hour. Hindi ako matutulog pag hindi joke. <laughs> <laughs> hindi na, I'm sure very active yan. So, I, if probably three to four hours would be the, ano, would be the time that you have to wait. Hello?
Hello. Hello. Hi, Bianca. Wait. Ah. Nawala lang. Kasi nawala kami ng electricity. <laughs> oh my. Pero live pa naman tong isang stream. Yeah, yeah. Ne, we'll close this na lang. Ah, sorry. Oh, I think may roving, ano, di ba? Parang something right. with Naruto. Ay, ganun. Ah, ganun ba? Parang ganun. Parang may nakita akong advisory right. nito ng araw. Okay. Mm, kaya kaya na matay yung ano. Oo, baka okay. scheduled. Sige. So, siguro. Uh, Oo, oh, let's see kung ano. Okay. You can see us, diba? Yep, yeah, I can. Okay. Yun! We're still live. So, so, namatay isang ano. But anyway, we're done almost, diba? We're done. Yeah. And then, maybe let's reconnect later on. Mga mm-hmm. oras. Anyway, we'll let you know na lang, diba? We'll do a yes. test. Yes, yes, do the float test. Yes, yes. yes. Ganun lang naman yung okay, basic and muna. Then, Mga 8 to 9, yep. And then we'll uh, do the live stream again tomorrow. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No problem. Thank you.